Hey guys, it's been a while since I uploaded. I've been a little bit busy, but in this video, I wanted to show you an SOP that I've been using to create some really, really good content. But not only that, I've actually managed to turn ChatGPT into a mini Ahrefs, so like a mini keyword research tool. So this is the SOP to do it, and this is only possible now because of the changes that ChatGPT have made. So the new kind of ChatGPT 4 uh, the ChatGPT Plus UI, this one here, is actually really, really interesting to us. So first of all, we're going to send this first prompt in, and we're going to press Enter. And if you look at this, what it does is it checks the SERP, -E the Search Engine Result page, for useful information for ranking, but it also takes the top five competitors for the keyword, and it takes a look at what they've done and it creates information for us to then use in our own article. Okay, so this script is done in a very specific way. So once it's finished the competitor research, it will say, I'm ready to produce the competitor research now. All you have to do is now say, give me the competitor research table here. So we'll just paste this prompt in. All the prompts are in uh, black and white. While that's creating the table, you can, if you want, you can have a look at this script right here. This script is currently prepped for Shopify websites, okay? It's not really prepped for um, WordPress or WooCommerce websites. What you want to do is you want to bring this into Visual Studio Code, create a new folder, and then create a new file. And let's do test.py right here. And then you can just Control V, Control S. And then all you need to do is change this URL and this URL to your URLs. Now, this is if you're on Shopify. At the moment, this won't work with WordPress. You can just change this to work with WordPress. But yeah, just for now, this what this basically does is it gives you a list of product images and titles and product URLs. Now, this is only a small part of the this video. The, the video is actually based on the research that it's going to be doing. But I just thought I would add this as well because I do find this really, really useful. Um, I'm going to show the entire workflow. So you can see here what this does is it creates a table with each of the websites that we've currently uh, that are currently ranking on the first page of Google or on Bing, sorry, for this keyword. It gives you some idea of the word count, the other things that they um, talk about: slim fit, bold colors, pastel colors, textured fabrics, sustainable, classic, tailored, modern edge, oversized pastels, jewel tones. So it just takes the top five results. It gives you a suggested title for your blog post. And then the next part of this is to create a comparison table using these products. So you don't have to do this part. This is an optional part. So I'm just going to say create a comparison table for these products. Try to include as much information and as many products as possible. Add product images inside the table and make them clickable. So then what you want to do is you want to go to the last um, curly bracket here. Sorry, the first until the last curly bracket, and then just Control C, Control V, and then press Enter. And this is now going to create a product um, table. This part is optional. If you're not an e-commerce website, then obviously you won't need to create this table. This is purely for e-commerce websites. What this does is it creates a cool little table with each of the for the in this example each of the suits, but it could be any collection, any category. It doesn't really matter. You just have to work out what works for your business. This is what works for most e-commerce websites, to be honest with you. So this has a price. This is just a really good kind of feature capturing snippet, a, a featured snippet capturing bit of information. Google loves this kind of HTML in-depth kind of thing. And if you're worried about uh, what it looks like on Shopify, it does look pretty good on Shopify. Um, you just have to trust me on that. And yeah. Once this is done, we're then going to create an outline for an article. And the, the cool thing about creating the outline at this point is that we have all of this SEO information right here. We have all of our product information and also our brand information here. So what we need to do is feed it some internal links, et cetera, and it's going to create a really, really nice article for this specific website. You could at this point, if you wanted to really, really push the boat out, this isn't included in the SOP because it's experimental, but you could say something like now visualize the data in this table to create a price comparison, uh, a comparison. For example, I'm not going to do that in this video, but you could do that right there. And then the next point is using both the product comparison table for information, the competitor research table for ideas and things to write about. Now create an outline for an article. 
I should mention as well, if I go on my custom instructions here, there are some in custom instructions. So I'll put these at the top of the SOP. Just make sure you have these as well. So custom. These just reinforce uh, what ChatGPT should be doing. And it's actually the main reason that using the front end of the ChatGPT UI is so powerful. So you'll see now we have a pretty nice article outline and we have this really, really nice comparison box here. We can put this box wherever we want, to be honest. Now we're going to scroll down and this is going to be quite a big prompt. So we're just going to copy this entire prompt. Uh, you can get your collections very, very easily if you're on Shopify. You just need a Chrome extension called Sitemap to Clipboard. And then make sure you make all the changes to this prompt that need to be made. So this is currently set to write content for two men. So you need to make sure that it's writing content for you. Now you might be asking why you're not using custom GPTs. I've just found that the actual output of custom GPTs is not quite as good. Like the, the length is amazing. Like being able to have 2000 words is amazing for certain topics, but just the output and the grammar and the way that it frames sentences is sometimes really bad and wrong. And that doesn't really happen with ChatGPT. So um, I'm definitely going, I'm, I'm leaning more towards the UI of ChatGPT again. Uh, I'm sorry for always changing as well. It's just, that's the way of it. I'm trying to perfect, you know, the best method. So, so we'll say at the top of this, we're going to add only write the first outlined article. Okay. And then this is just a basic prompt that I've used many, many times over the years, over the years, over, you know, the last eight months to rank well on Google. So I've changed it a little bit and yeah. What we can start to do is we can start to prepare the articles. So we've already got this piece of uh, content. So we'll just press the copy button right here. And we'll head over to markdown to html.com. Control A, Control V. We now have this beautiful comparison table. I know it looks weird, but trust me, it on Shopify it will look absolutely fine. Just make sure that you get the raw HTML because that's going to actually help um, with uh, transferring to Shopify, basically. So the things you have to change in this prompt are here. I'll, I'll highlight these or I'll make them bold. No, I'll, uh, I'll highlight everything that you need to change in another color. This as well. You need to change. You need to give ChatGPT some information about your business, especially if it's like a fairly new business. Uh, you need to change these as well. So this you need to change. You can also just follow now what I'm changing, uh, if you're curious. And we need to change this to your website as well. Let's see. You need to change the keyword, which is here. And then actually I'm going to put language here as well. And you need to change this. Okay. So we've got the first part of the article right here. We'll put this above the table like this, and then we'll get rid of the continued part. We'll find out where to put the table in a second, but yeah, we just want to make sure that everything's fine in the article. We're using H4s, H3s, that's fine. Probably rather have H2s to be honest with you, but it's not massive. It's not a massive deal. And I'll say finish the article. It's also done a key takeaway bullet point, which I'm not too bothered about if we've got this huge table. Um, it's, it's, I think this is fine to be honest with you. We're going to get rid of that disclaimer because the prices are fine because they're taken directly from the website. And then we shall find a good place for this table, which can probably just go. Let's just put it here under the evolution of men's suits. Okay. So this all, this has all the hallmarks of a ranking article. It's got, you know, it's a decent article. It's got some good relevant information in there that we got from competitors. It's got internal links. It's got product photos. The product photos go to the products. So I'll press copy here. We'll put this underneath the table here. Get rid of end of article and call to action. Uh, we can keep call to action actually. We'll just call it shop today instead. Now we have a complete article. Let's just go to docs.new and we'll check how many words this is. This is something I've been working on, on the last few days. Um, again, sorry for constantly changing how I'm doing things. This is just the nature of these tools right now. It's actually 1.4 K words, which I was not expecting. Um, 
That's amazing. That's a really, really good result. So we'll do raw HTML here and I'll show you how to transfer this to a Shopify uh, website. I think I might just release this article as an actual article. So we'll add a new blog post here. We've got to wait for this to say show HTML. So while it's doing that, we need to quickly grab the title that it gave us. I quite enjoy just letting ChatGPT choose everything. It's kind of fun to be honest with you. This process takes maybe eight minutes per article. Um, so, you know, that's almost uh, eight articles per hour, pretty much. Eight times eight is 64, I think. So we'll add this as the title. I'm probably going to get rid of the dress to impress part because it looks very chat e We'll grab the raw HTML. We'll paste that like that. And then we'll press show HTML. And then we'll press show editor. <laughs> Did that the wrong way around, but that's fine. I know, again, the products look messed up, but I promise you they won't be. So we'll change this to journal, like I always do, and then visible. I know there's no image, but I'll add an image in a second. You can also just say to ChatGPT, now create me a horizontal blog post featured image. The results vary. It can be really, really good. They can be really, really bad. But then let's have a look at the complete product here. Let's click on journal and we'll click here. Not here. There it is. The ultimate guide to the best suit colors for men in 2024. And you'll see that the table looks fine. Maybe the images are a little bit small, but it's okay. And also this has been cut off. I think that might just be a formatting error by ChatGPT. A very, very rare formatting error. I think that's what's happened now. Let's refresh this. Oh no, it can't be a formatting error. I've just messed this up. Let's recopy the table here. Yeah, I messed something up there. Go back up. Okay, that should be fine. I doubt the ChatGPT made a formatting error. And then we'll see what it came up with for the featured image. See if it's a good one or a bad one. Yeah, okay. This is this is fine. Uh, you'd have to change the text at the top here. Okay, there's just a formatting error right here. It just needs to be deleted twice. Now it will work. And then, yeah, that's it. That's everything, guys. Um, the article, we'll leave it. We'll see how it ranks. You guys can watch it for yourselves as well. This is the end result. Just imagine there's a featured image here that's been edited. And then I have the table of contents right here, which is a plugin from Shopify. It's called Rough Rough. And then the title, H1. This is an H2. Key takeaways, H3. These are all H3 or H4 tags. The massive comparison thing like this. And then some well SEO'd and well researched content. Thanks for watching. And I'll see you very, very soon with some more content. Peace out.